Yes, it's all about Russia still, and now they're on the case of Russia Today television channel. And, well, there's two ways I could take this. Either it's true that Russia Today is reaching so many people that they're influencing so many people, and they're on a par with the American mainstream media and their BS propaganda. Or, it, it almost seems, if I was a real conspiracy theorist, like they're promoting RT. Because you know the people that hate, you know, they, they feel like these senators and the government and the mainstream media are enemies. Well, they're going to, these type of people are going to go right and ch they're just going to go check out RT. Now, I haven't been watching RT lately because it hasn't been that useful to me. And it's become too much like... Just regular news, or they spend too much time defending themselves from the mainstream media instead of just doing their thing. They should just do their thing and not pay as much attention to what you know the U.S. government or the mainstream media is doing. Except for the fact that the U.S. government might attempt to ban them or at least make them register as foreign agents is what it sounds like. By the way, RT is not the only government media around. I mean, they never talk about the fact that the BBC is technically a government media. And in some ways, NPR and PBS are like a government media. Not exactly in the same way as BBC, or certainly not in the same way as RT. But to a large extent, you could consider them to be government, uh, certainly government funded to an extent, media. So, you know... And it doesn't matter. The corporate media are in, are they're they're hand in glove with the establishment of sort of mainstream government types, that, which is why they don't like Trump because Trump is outside the box. Whether you like him or not, whatever you think of him, he's not the same thing that we've gotten for the last forty years. Obama was the same <laughs> thing that we've been having for the last forty years. Anyway. Um, so, you know, I, I don't understand what the end game of all this is unless, unless they can get rid of Trump in some way that is not entirely the norm, which the norm would be having elections. If they can impeach him for some phony thing or whatever it is they're going to do, unless they can do that, the Democrats appear to be basically losers for the next who knows how many years because they're not talking about anything. Meanwhile, they try to convince us that Russia is the reason we think that America is in decline. Well, pretty much anybody sitting in America can look around them and say, hmm, America is in decline. And uh, the jobs aren't there anymore. The infrastructure is falling apart. We're living uh, hand to mouth. More and more in poverty as time goes on. The middle class is disintegrating, etc., etc. But no, America is still great, and it's just Russian propaganda that has convinced you of all this. Even though most of the people who believe this are common people and have never even seen Russia prop Russian propaganda. They don't even know what RT is, many of them. They just look around them and they say, yes, things have gotten worse. <sighs> And yet on the circus goes on and on and on. And I wish the Democrats would start talking about real issues.